this old guy DIY video has to do with the technique that I used to finally break loose this fan in a 2003 Chevy Suburban with 150,000 miles on it. After 20 years, the water pump failed. So in the course of replacing the water pump, I had to get the fan off and removing that nut was a beast. So I hit it with PB Blaster a couple days ago. I went in here, followed the advice of the different guys on YouTube. And when the belt was still on, I had a C-clamp right here that was holding the belt down. Then I put my big crescent wrench here and whacked it with a two and a half pound mallet. That didn't work. So after two hours of fighting with no success, I went to AutoZone and this green handled thing is what I got from them. It's the universal fan clutch pulley holder. So it wouldn't do what I needed by itself. So I went to the local hardware store and I got a couple of bolts that are six millimeters by 25 millimeters. It's a grade 8.8. .8. And then I took those things and stuck them in the end of the little pulley holder. You can see I had to use yellow tape to hold the bolt head so the thing wouldn't fall out. And then beneath this big piece of pipe, there is a crescent wrench. But the technique that I finally used to break the thing loose, which I just did, so I'm taking pictures now, but the technique was to put that crescent wrench on there, put this piece of four foot pipe on it. I just put a towel here. So I was pulling back and basically driving this pipe right into the, the body of the car. And then this thing was in the 12 o'clock position and I just got on this side of the car, grabbed it with both hands and pulled back until it broke loose. So right now it's loose and I'll show you the other parts of my job here. I ended up using this Pittsburgh brand 12 inch crescent wrench because it has a more open throat on it than a 12 inch craftsman. The craftsman would not go on that nut. Now I'll remove this little guy. You can see how it's engaged in the fan pulley housing. I guess I need both hands to wiggle this loose. This is what the rental tool from AutoZone looks like. And it comes with these things on the end that were supposed to hook onto bolts. And then what I ended up doing is taking those M6 by 25 millimeter bolts, sticking them through the arm of this thing, and then just using tape to hold the heads in place. So as I was fitting it to the pulley, the thing wouldn't fall apart. And initially I tried just sticking those M6 bolts in the pulley housing and grabbing it with these claws on the end. You can see that one on the right is kind of bent out. I thought I was going to break it. So I went to this technique that I finally used that worked. So I saw lots of them online. I tried everybody's idea, including the cable. I broke the cable. I broke heavy fencing wire. I was on the verge of just drilling through that pulley housing and I was going to just stick a bar in there when I decided to try this technique and I was successful. So after applying my freelance engineering technique, you can see that this thing is coming loose now. So I'll just spin the fan right off of there. Now the fan has been removed. And if I wasn't clear about my technique, you take these little six millimeter bolts and I stuck them in this hole and the one that was directly across from it 180 degrees away. So by catching those two holes, I was able to hold this pulley while I cranked on that uh, tool and finally break the fan loose. As you know, the rest of this job is pretty easy. A1 Auto and some other people have some great videos out there showing you how to do it. So since I fought for three hours on this stupid thing, I thought I'd share my final technique with you. Have a great night.